some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Hello. Board Games Unlocked. And we are continuing our Aeon Trespass Odyssey series. Interpret! What? Interpret! And, oh. Interpret. We are in day 38. So, almost halfway through potentially just losing for taking way too long. They're like, okay, never mind, guys. The king's dead. I guess I guess the king's dead. Alright, fuck this. Yeah, you, you guys suck. So, let's go ahead and move. So, just, well, the only way we can move is down. Yep. So, go to 68, and that's where the temple's going to be. It's not the wizard's it's dead end. Uh... No, Progress. it's not. No, it's not. I'm like, wait, is it? <laughs> um, so, is that, oh, and there are coordinates there, but I don't think that matters right now. Um, yeah, I think each one of the areas that led into the Path of Rivers has co has the coordinates on it. That's right. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, so move there up the, the old map so we went down and is there anything on here nope we have sexy Just, progress good progress um so i've got to advance the old tim line then exploration do we want to use our engine nymph then we lose this progress right yes not really okay I, we'll find we're probably fighting the adversary then <laughs> I like progress. I I like not finding the adversary more. And I and I want to find this. Uh, so so according to where the map is, then this the temple has to be like over here. Mm -hmm. I think one progress is not not worth it that much versus finding the adversary. Did we get it if we went back. Uh, no, because it's explored. Um, now, when you are about to move the Argo, spend one to summon, move the Argo two times. Oh, technically, technically... Um, whatever. Whatever, Devin! Four trireme resources, you little Ooh, bitch. We don't have any of those. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we do. <laughs> and three monuments. Hey. Okay, well, you got lucky. <laughs> oh, was, oh man, I would have hit you so you hard. You would have just really sucked my ass a little bit. <laughs> Dude, that's you would have really just you, you would have spanked me right <laughs> on the balls. I, <laughs> I would have pink socked you in the next week. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so that was that. Pretty much nothing. Uh, no, well, we get the progress. So I'm assuming you want to put it on the. You goddamn policy. right, I do. Well, too bad! You don't get to tell me what to do in my campaign. Why don't you buy the game? Make your own decisions. Um, yep, so expedition, no encounter, advancement. We do have an advancement. It is structural. Mm. What are we? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong, wrong thing anyway. So, hope logic. Uh, save, gain plus one Argophate when you're about to gain Doom during the Voyage or Adventure phase to test X, where X is 9 minus the number of, on your current Doom, so we can potentially um, not gain Doom with Hope Logic, should we just mm. get that immediately. But it costs us Argophate? Yes. Gotcha. But I think... But order, avoiding Doom is pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Hope Logic. Tech. Um, hope Logic. For nothingness does not exist without purpose to which it stands in opposition. It fears it and tries to douse it with doubt. Amen. Amen to that. Yes. So, yes. So now, and in that moment, it betrays its weakness. For if there was no hope of purpose prevailing, why go to such lengths to silence it? Hope. In the darkest times, hope is something you give yourself. That's tattooed on my back. <laughs> Uh, it's from Uncle Iroh. Right on the fucking... Right on the tramp stamp zone. <laughs> no, I actually do have that on my back. Right on the That's, uh, it's, it's on my left shoulder tattoo. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, here, let me show you. 
Seth, that's uh, that's an upside down cross. Well, ignore that. <laughs> and that's a swastika. <laughs> well, ignore that too. <laughs> that was a different time. Uh, I was all a completely different person. Um, so yeah, so that was our advancement. We still don't want to craft anything. We're not out of town to trade. So then it is, the only thing left is story, which is our inward odyssey. Inward odyssey. <laughs> Lowlands! <laughs> lowlands! 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 Low. There's a game called Lowlands. I want to buy it just so you sing that the whole time. Lowlands! So, boom, boom. Hey, Argo Knowledge increased to 8. Okay. But it goes Ooh. to like fucking 20, doesn't it? Yeah, 10 is for one half, and then, Shh, yeah, then you flip it. And you flip it. Jesus. And I think they said in the rules for it, they're like, you will not, not not will not. It's like you would have to try everything to get all twenty. You have to put a lot of progress. In yeah, that. I feel like it would be you are making no progress on the actual story cards, mm -hmm. and you're only specifically going after the inward odyssey. Um, but that is going to be see the forest. Uh, Ninety two. Uh. Okay. A throng of spears pierces the calm sea from beneath the waves, their tips dulled, barely visible above the waterline, like the spines of a Cretan hedgehog among autumn leaves. You have been coming across this sight more often now. These are trees, giant and old, petrified by some unknown calamity, possibly the same one that cast them down to the bottom of the great sea. The artificers of the Grand Agora have been harvesting them for titan gear since even before you reached Crete. Last Academy scholars believe their appearance is tied to the lowering sea levels. This time the sight is different. The tree line extends beyond the horizon as if the sunken wilderness has no end. In an aeon past, this was a mighty forest, one to rival the wild woods of Bo Boeotia. At dawn, you set out into the maze of petrified spires and a small armada of launches. Throughout the day, you top at regular intervals so the diving teams can explore the depths. The first few times they return empty-handed, but further into the forest they find stone structures among the trees. A settlement, its scale to match that of the wilderness. The glyphs found on one of the buildings betray their architects, the Centimanes, mm -hmm. which we might not... No, I don't think we know what that is. No. We know it's zero something six, and that's it. Zero something six. Um, yeah. yeah, okay. Damn. <clears throat> In the evening, further into the forest, you scout an island made of flotsam, positioned precariously atop the canopy of a particularly thick grove. You make land and explore... <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you make land. Make you land. make mud. <laughs> I'm gonna make land. <laughs> you uh, make... I'm gonna make land! <laughs> Keith sent me this thing. That new warning for shitting your pants is making mud. I'm gonna make mud. <laughs> so stupid. You make land and explore. In the shadow of a shattered trireme hole, a group of people... I don't know why it's so funny to me right now. A group of people ekes out... I can't see. Ekes out a meager existence, malnourished and sickly. <laughs> they're, they're, uh... Tired, grief-stricken eyes hungering for something, but not for food. This is a deeper, soul-wrenching <laughs> hunger. Land. It's land. It's making land. As soon as they take notice of your party, they rush you and try to force you into the water to drown you. There are bloated bodies floating in these shallows. You imagine their zealous frenzy could overpower shipwrecked survivors or hapless merchants, but to you they pose no threat. One half of their number is dead or otherwise incapacitated. They yield. You always beat him up. <laughs> this is the Temple of Poseidon, heathen, hisses one of them. You are trespassing. As we do, you reply with a calm smile. How many have you sacrificed to your dead god? You think this will bring him back? Back? A half-mad priest replies mockingly. There is no going back. The gods are dead, killed by heathens like you. No, we're going to drown this world like our lord Poseidon would have wanted. 
You look at the decrepit shacks these people live in, at the makeshift altar with a figure of Poseidon as its centerpiece, at the bloated remains uh, of the unfortunates who tried to seek shelter here. You feel pity for these people, driven to the brink by their crisis of faith. Is it the death of their god that had led them onto this path, or the draconian culture of worship that preceded it? Your pity turns to anger. Once you get back to the Argo and closer to civilization, you hand over the coven to the horned guards so justice can be done. Gain the Poseidon God Form Awakening Ooh. card. Secret deck three, card 25. Poseidon. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can't activate him. So. <laughs> no. Secret deck three, card 25. It's like it only happens one out of ten times. <laughs> yeah, that is how odds work. I'm so proud of you. Damn. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> God damn, though. Oh, oh, badass. Look at that art. Badass. And uh, eventually, when they ship it, uh, I'll have minis. Ooh, for these. okay. Like God for minis. Sexy. So, so what was, so, like, all right, uh, smash or pass? Huh? Oh, smash. Smash. Yeah. He's yeah. smashing me. Yeah, well, yeah, it's not really up to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Zeus, it's happening. A smash or pass? Um, he's a little scary. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he might hurt me. So, Zeus has instant transmission. When you deal a wound, if your total power surpasses the a Aeon Trespass by three or more, you lose minus one, uh, whatever, I don't remember that symbol, to ignore responses, resolve the rest of the attack sequence, then push back five, vault, and perform a bonus attack. So you push him, vault over him, and then attack him again. <laughs> and then he has this attack, Godly Thunder, for two dice plus zero, two red, for your move, and... Um, Attack. Perform an attack with your lightning. Range 3 to 9. Push back X where X is your total power during this attack. And then while you're in this form, you have plus 2 movement and uh, you just innately have a black die. Nice. And you have plus 2 precision um, and two of those icons. So two of those uses. So that's Zeus. Nice. Poseidon has Ever Ocean. Discard all Ambrosia tokens from your Titan Sheet. You cannot gain Ambrosia tokens. Water finds a way. During movement, ignore obstacles and chasm terrain tiles. You cannot end voluntary movement on an obstacle or chasm. If you end involuntary movement on an obstacle, place your titan on the closest empty space instead. Okay. So that one gives you a black die, plus one movement. But plus two knockback, I think? Okay. What, uh, or plus two evasion. Mm, okay. So... Those are the two forms we got. Nice. And I think whenever we awake, we just get to pick one. Okay. Of what we what we want to do. <clears throat> so, that allows us to God Forms and Summons. Let's add a God Form, Secret Deck 3, Poseidon. Hmm. But they can only be used once until we get a reset. Yeah. And I can't, I remember, what, I can't remember what the, what the reset is called, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, because our summon limit is only one right now. Okay. So that was that. So a sweet, sweet uh, cult that uh, drowns people. Mm. Not for any reason, just to sacrifice them to Poseidon. <laughs> it's pretty cool of them for that. Uh, all right. So now let's move again. So we're going to 69, right? We have, oh, yeah. We have, obviously. We nice. Nice. Where the fuck is that stupid? And it's a doom. But we do gain a titan. It looks like this comment's quite a bit bigger. Because it looks like we're looking for a little island on the side. So I guess we have to keep going. Yeah. Oh, timeline 39. And doom. Yeah. We can try to avoid it. We can. We can. Um, for an Argo fate, I'd say we should probably... Yeah. Well, we have to roll. Yeah, we do. What do we have to roll, or we have to roll? Yeah, what do we have to roll? Because um, I know we have to roll. Yeah. It is Hope Logic, so we gain an Argo Fate. Um, when you're about to gain uh, Doom during the Voyage or Adventure phases to test X, where X is 9 minus the number of our current Doom cards, so 6. 6 or higher. Mm. Go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll. Baby. Nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, I rolled at the same time. I also got an eight, so 
nail it. So no doom. Nice. No doom because we have hope that we'll find the stupid, <laughs> stupid fucking thing. Um, and get away from the adversary. Because, you know, it's not looking like we're going to be able to loop. I mean, maybe. You would think because... No, because we can get... We, we could have went up from there. All right. Well. Hey, we get a Titan. Good. 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 There's got to be one super close down here. Okay. Eh. Try Ream. Yay. Boom. Boom, boom. Hey, Maze Pilgrim. Gain plus one stranger if we're on a labyrinth tile. We gain two instead. I don't want those. <laughs> That's two strangers. What's our Argo? Okay, if Argo at Fate was at five, if we've gained an additional stranger. Three strangers. Yeah. Who? They're like, huh, maybe the labyrinth. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is probably not going to be good. So we are gaining, th we have three strangers. If then, if you then have three or more strangers, we see 0014 in the Faded Conundrum Hub. Ooh. So let's do that real quick. Well, this is in the Faded Conundrum. 31. Well, there's the art for the record. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Um... So, Faded Events, Faded Conundrum, it is, what was it called? Oh, zero, zero, 0014. Um, oh, yeah. You've felt something brewing for some time now. You've heard whispers of discontent. Some are wondering what they're doing on Crete in the middle of a conflict, not their own. Yet they're mad we're lost. <laughs> no, I swear there's a tower this way! <laughs> Others are, com uh, are coming dangerously close to sympathizing with the labyrinthian message. Mm. One morning, you notice a pale drawing of the maze symbol on one of the bulkheads, and you feel it in your guts. It's happening. You have to poop. Mm -hmm. There's a growing number of labyrinthian con converts on the ship. This is becoming a problem. We mark a faded box above, then choose... Um, okay. There is no place for worshippers of the nothingness on the Argo. They must go before things truly escalate. You banish the neophytes. Mm. Or, they are your crew. They may have lost hope, but you did not lose your hope in them. You try to dissuade them from the truth of the labyrinth. Yep. I'm going to assume there's going to be a roll in all of that one. There 100% is. The rest, um... So, the first one, we lose a crew, and we lose two strangers, and a random Argonaut gains a despair token. Or we roll and to our, try to lose nothing. And our Labyrinthian's diplomacy goes down by one. But that's guaranteed. Yeah. I mean, if you had plenty of crew... Um, yeah, so... The other one is you're testing courage, will, or wisdom. Which... Heraclides has wisdom of two, and Raz have, has courage of two. I have courage of two as well. Okay. On Telemachus. You want to roll? Let's fucking roll. All right. They're our crew, man. All right. We believe in they them. They are your crew. They may have lost hope, but you did not lose your hope in them. You tried to dissuade them from the truth of the labyrinth. <laughs> it's like, be honest. If you're oh, into the sorry. Lab. Each Argonaut Ooh. tests courage, will, or wisdom. Add plus one for the old spinner. Subtract minus one if you are maze touched. Oh, shit. Subtract minus one for each faded box marked after the first. So, if you're maze touched, that's the only negative. I'm both of mine are maze touched. Well, you're, I mean, we have, well, that's what we chose, so roll one, roll for each, and minus one for, minus one for But each. I get to add courage to it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Telemachus with a total of plus so, one. Oops, that was a nine. And she's a nine as well, so she, 11, 11. Penny an eight, so nine. And then Ulysses, what does she have? Is it wisdom with one? Uh, yes. Will, wisdom, so, or... Well, actually, it's a, it's a straight roll with her. Okay. With the base touched. Six. Okay, we needed eight or higher. So, uh, they're at 11, and you're at nine. Mm -hmm. So, we got three successes. You find that it is not that the truth of the labyrinth is so alluring, but that it offers an answer to the burning questions left after Eschaton. 
You rouse your crew with an impassioned speech about camaraderie and the hope and purpose born of the bonds that bind you. Many denounce their newfound faith and morale is up, yet deep inside you realize that the void left is... Uh, and the void left by the Olympians will not be filled with one stirring speech. You need to find something to believe in again. This is great. That was... So we lose three strangers. Nice. And because our Argo fate is at four or higher, we gain a... Uh, we gain a progress. Oh, sexy. Um... Regardless of your choices and outcome, you have to work on your rhetoric and devise something that can combat the poisonous truth of the labyrinth. Gain the rhetoric technology card if you don't have it already. We do. We do, yeah. You do that. Sweet. We're like, guys, listen. <laughs> We're all a little bit scared here. Uh, it's either Yo, don't believe this maze stuff. <laughs> maze. Intricate maze tattoo. This is a birthmark. I've had it forever. <laughs> Um, so progress on the phantom thread or your call, your call, where you want to put it. I, I was, we, we got an inward odyssey out of it. So pretty happy. But if you're wanting to yeah, it, since, be, since be secure in our, since we're literally not getting any closer to, yeah. <laughs> um, one of the things I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, kind of, I'm a little peeved at you. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. This is removed. But we keep drawing. Okay, and then trireme resources. We need to trade those. We have so much. We have so much. How many triremes do we have? 29. Nice. 29 trireme. I'd like to get more fleshy mantles and infused mechanisms. But Fortunately, maybe those are from the Labyrinthos, so we have to fight them to get those. We can trade. I thought we could trade to get them. A little bit, yeah. but they trade mostly for more monster parts. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So essentially, you know, the the armament, the um, trireme, and the monument are our basic resources. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that we find all over the place. Uh, yeah, we have no... Oops. Yep, we have nothing. So, yeah, I guess that's that. So now we can move. 70? Okay, so, yeah, so it has to be 70. It point. has to be. Nope, but the progress. But there's the beginning of the island, right? So we can go down and surely find the rest. Yeah. 69, 70. Yeah. Progress. Yep. Um, so that's timeline advanced, day 40. Uh, and he hasn't moved in a while, so that's nice. I know. I know! What's that from? Really, it's your favorite TV show. Friends? <laughs> I'm a huge Friends fanatic, aren't you? <laughs> Watching every night. Yep. Reruns. Friends. That's what I'm Because you don't have any? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like, this is what it'd be like. <laughs> oh, Ross. Uh, us and our vague business that we do for a living. <laughs> it's like, man. Oh, there's Monica being a neat freak again. Uh. <laughs> it's like, what's wrong with you? I'm lonely, okay? <laughs> All right, exploration. Get another progress, another proggy. So one more gets us to <laughs> siphon through that cycle. Okay. Um, I don't know why I have to. I'm just like not taking any exploration as next. So, all right, he's moving. <laughs> he's schmoving. <laughs> Cargo. God, one, two, three. Let's move it again. Damn it. I didn't I want... I smell them this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. In the open ocean where I can kiss them. Oh, God. The Hermesian Pursuer has a lisp. What a loser. Oh, All right, we got an adventure hub, baby. Okay. So, roll that sexy D10 for me. Ten or four, man of purpose. Hey, we can actually remember what's going on now. Man of purpose, fifty-one. I didn't tell you the roll yet. I didn't tell you the roll yet. All right, go ahead and roll. Nine. Nine. Uh, Reroll again. 
Three. Okay. We're adding a sink. <laughs> Sinochismos. Sinochismos. Which is fate. That's both of mine. Oh, fate. I get that. Dream, curse, crime. None. Uh, Eric Lydes. Got one for Curse of the Gods, though. So it's the one. It's what? Yeah, it's the one with the most. Okay, so Minoan heritage. I can't wait to marry the princess because I'm of Minoan heritage. She's my girlfriend. We're kind of a thing. Don't ask her though. I mean, she she gets. Sure, you can stand that shitty breath from old Duke Tooth. <laughs> <laughs> old. <laughs> uh, all right. You've learned of a small smuggling operation just off the coast of Crete. The smugglers are said to deal with all of who can afford it. Hornsworn, pirates, and brigands, save for the Minoans, for whom they seem to have a particular dislike. The smugglers may have the information you seek. You arrange a meeting, posing as local bandits in need of weapons. At dusk, you arrive at the rendezvous point, a hidden cave in one of the numerous inlets of the Isle of the Bull. What's so funny? I was just thinking, I'm like, yeah, we're totally bandits. like giant city ship in the background. We're like... Like just kind of, yeah, just, just like, in like just, kind of rags, right, yeah, but we're all we're all like taller than everyone else, and like, <laughs> yeah, just clearly like healthy, clean <laughs> teeth. <laughs> As you are led on board one of the trireams to meet a broker, Orifos, you notice the uncanny expertise with which the whole operation is being run, and the lengths to which the smugglers go to appear more disorganized and unruly than they actually are. You also notice an ochre blue trireme snuggly anchored in one of the cave's many openings, just at the edge of torchlight. You've seen these patterns once or twice. Those are the markings of the stewards, former slavers, now often willing allies of the Labyrinthians. Then again, it is just as likely the, uh, these are pirates, or the vessel was taken in the battle with the Hornsworn. You are sitting at a small table with Orifos, an older man with a horrible scar running all the way from his balding scalp to the corner of his mouth. Uh, what can we do for you? He asks, staring, uh, staring you down across the table. So, we can choose. Um, you don't care what the smugglers do or who they may deal with as long as you get the information you need. You will do more good going after bigger fish. You begin negotiations. We lose diplomacy with Minoans if we do that. Uh, number two, if that is a labyrinthian ship, you cannot take the chance. Besides, if the smugglers deal with the cult, they're unscrupulous and their information should not be trusted. You decide to break up the smuggling operation. We gain plus one in Minoans and Hornsworn goes down. So we'd be at two for Minoans and four for Hornsworn. Jeez. Are we just, do we just want to go full dictatorship Minoans? Uh, we've kind of, yeah. Um, Hornsworn, the, the Hornsworn remind me, those are like just the locals, right? Like the Hornsworn the, the, the were the people guard, that the joined rebels. Theseus. Yes, they, they were like, he's the true heir That's or right. whatever. That's right, okay. And number three, these people are no mere smugglers. There is more going on here than meets the eye. Best course of action is to play along and try to expose them. It's risky and may backfire, but sometimes you need to take chances. You play along. Minoans, Hornsworn, and Labyrinthians all go down by one. Oh, fucking Jesus. And we gain plus two Argo fate. <laughs> Jesus! So doing nothing. <laughs> we do see... We, no, that's if we if we try and like figure out everything that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And we go to a different... I mean, we go to a different section all around. Hmm. I am not for that one. Gotcha. I'm for... Let's get the data we need and go out for bigger fish. Okay. So number one? So like, that's not our priority right now. Yeah. So I mean, no one goes down by one. You don't care what the smugglers do or who they may deal with as long as you get the information you need. You will do more good going after bigger fish. You begin negotiations. Okay. You don't want to stay here longer than necessary, so you get straight to the point. You brought valuables, gold, and jewels, things the sort of people kill themselves over, things people like you find utterly meaningless. Monsters abound, says Orphos. In the cold waters of the northeast, sirens, scales, rocks made of ice, while in the south, a giant demon patrols the skies with malicious intent. What query it pursues, I do not know. We do, the party leader says. But what? But what of Crete? Doomed, I suppose. Gain plus one doom. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which we could theoretically try to stop. 
But so that every single time? Uh, once per, like, day, which this would be a new day. Mm. Um, Horn Sworn Diplomacy goes up. As you turn to leave, Orifos volunteers. The maze stifles the land and its people. Slave triremes of the stewards sail the sea yet again. One of them, retaken by the Horn Sworn, is anchored here. Its contents are of no use to us. However, I have a feeling you might give it purpose. When you board the steward's trireme, the smuggler's fleet dis uh, disperses. Was this a trap? You don't think it was. You move along the bow toward the open hold, noting the damage the ship has sustained. Burn marks on deck, black smudges of ambrosia on the hull, a dented bronze shield with a lambda painted on it. The ship sailed to Sparta, you reckon, far from mm. home. When you look down the hold, you gasp in disbelief. A malnourished titan bound in black iron chains. It looks up at you defiantly. Those chains were forged by inhuman hands from sterner stuff, and so was this titan. Gain one Spartan Dreamwalker. You'll Ooh. find it in the Cycle 2 pattern cards. Ooh. One Spartan Dreamwalker. Cool. Our first new titan. Right. That's not a strain, you know? Uh, Titan, so add new Titan. So, Titan class is a Dreamwalker. And no trauma or no Kratos pattern. Add. Damn, look at the abs on this Titan! Oh, they're all painted on. Verified to the word Spartan Dreamwalker. What were they Walker. called? What was it called? Spartan Dreamwalker. Oh. I kept putting Dreamwalker and I'm like, what the hell? It's not changing. There we go. Let's take a look at that sexy motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Damn it, Devin. God. There's some fucking, there's some, there's some fucking nasty ones. Okay. It's a pattern, right? So it would be one of these. Oh, is that it? That's what I. Maybe since it's a Dreamwalker, and these are our Dreamwalker cards. But it said you'll find it in the Cycle Two, in the Cycle Two pattern. So that's like weapons and stuff. Spartan Dreamwalker. Okay. I guess that's it. Yeah, that, that's cycle two. Yeah, there's no way they would have given us a total. Totally. <laughs> so the Titans of Sparta have gone through the gauntlet. So I think this changes up your... Um, your Kratos pool. Oh, okay. So if we gain this, I think we can give it to anyone. Guess he? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, yeah, so just on two, you're already putting in two breaks. Three, possibly three breaks. Nice. Yeah, I think that's it. 
think that's the card you'll find in the cycle two pattern card. So I guess the fun double check. Do they have like? Yep, at full potential, you have three re rolls. And let's see here, possibly um, a max of four breaks with a precision. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very powerful. He thought it was immediately. Uh, if you're controlling him, be will. Pattern, or pattern patterns, 20. Okay. Um, patterns are a catch-all category for all things that further modify the Titan's speed special training. When the Titan is assigned a pattern, it should get a name. Patterns will override the Titan's basic trauma table or Kratos table and sometimes introduce new special rules. A Titan can have more than one pattern, but if both, both patterns relate to the same game element, the newer one will override the older. At the start of cycle one, patterns are unique, one of a kind things. The Titan is assigned a pattern to restore event, it becomes its permanent feature. When a Titan with a uh, assigned pattern dies. Okay. So, yeah. You want it? Uh, sure. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. Hmm. I mean, if you're that bored by it, I'll take it. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I guess. All right, what name do you want to give it? Um, let's call him, what's a Spartan, let's see here, Kratos, let's call him Leo, Leo, yeah, we call him Buck, <laughs> call him Buck, Buck the fuck, <laughs> Leo, okay, <laughs> alright, so there's our Spartan Dreamwalker, who you put him on, put him on Kierkegaard, I let's see here. She's kind of the. Hmm. I mean, you have your guy with the axe now. I do. I do. I'm gonna put it on her guard though. She's the leader. She's not shit. What are you talking about? All right. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Round in black chains. That was the yeah. That was our adventure. So, our fate of the events. And command of purpose. All right. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. What's it like to have the hottest movie in Hollywood? So that was our expedition. Encounter. Still no encounter. Don't have any research, so none of that for advancement. Um, no story. No story step, so nothing there. Then no doom yet. Six or more, right? Yep. So we're getting there. All right, let's move. Okay. So we're thinking down. I'm thinking down. All right. I'm thinking south. I'm thinking Arby's. Shut up. Fucking shit. Hey, another adventure, though. Yeah. Dude, Fuck, it's dude. It fucking, island, it fucking man. doesn't exist. It doesn't exist anymore. It's like how big is this map? How many? Hold on, two, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Like, this is the edge of the map now. Yes. Which means... You think it's up? Um... Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Oh, fuck. It probably is up, because that actually leads to the... Mm -hmm. The horn. The uh, yeah. Well, if he doesn't move, I well, if he does move, we can use our we can use our engine nymph. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's to, just do to, that. If, yeah. Because where would this be? If we're thinking this is this, mm -hmm. then that would be like yeah, one, two, three. So then, the next one would be like Over here. here. Yeah. I mean, you want to cut across and gamble that we might find that one over there? No. <laughs> well, yeah, let's uh, go up. Yeah, engine nymph. That way we can just skip that space and fucking go. Alrighty. So. Alright, three monument resources. Hey. Whoops. And then three armaments. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. 
How, what does it take to build this triune breastplate? This is, just seems to be like a better armor in general. Let me take a good old gander. However, we have an adventure hub first. Okay. Let's rock and roll. So, because we are on an... So! Roll a d10. Eight! That's Tears of the Minotaur. Mm. I don't think we even have that one. No. Sixty-seven. I opened right to it. Well, there is some sexy ass art for that. And ooh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we have any of that right now. Oh, so all at once. Adventures. Yep, we do not. Ariadne's love. Tragedy. That's oh. the keyword. I don't have any of those. Me either. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did we get? Um, new Nemo's cards? Ah, uh, events. Just events. Yep. Okay, we just haven't been getting them. Yep. The valley is dotted with bull statues. The gilding has worn off in places, revealing crumbling stone. But still, where the sunlight hits them, they gleam like the jewels in a high priest circlet. Some of the decay is not natural. Some Someone has put a hammer to the stone, while some statues show signs of regular care, and if you dare say, mending. As you approach, you notice a priestly man in long robes pleading with a group of adolescents in front of one of the largest intact statues. You see all sorts of offerings laid before it. Fruit and cake, honey and wine, even a sack of grain. We are the Horde Sworn, says one of the adolescents proudly as he points his fit, pounds his fist on his chest. <laughs> Horde Sworn! His comrades cheer. None of them carry weapons and even the oldest looks like he's barely on the brink of adulthood. These are children, not Horde Sworn. Um... These statues are a disgrace. They should all be destroyed. The Minotaur has been killed and worshipping it is a crime. He kicks the basket of fruit. We should be making statue of Theseus, a true hero. You turn to the priestly man who introduces himself as Bellamac, a former priest of Dionysus. The calm he displays makes you wonder if it's not the first time he has, to, has had to deal with this. And this valley should be preserved and respected. These statues were built to honor the Minotaur, that is true. Some people feared it, others respected it. Many people come to this valley to worship it. Families come to ask for a quick death for their loved ones who had been sent into the labyrinth. Even the Princess Ariadne came. She cared deeply for the beast, but for more of the people. Always she made amends for her father's cruel law. The young people snort and roll their eyes at Bellamac. The princess and that wretched king are gone! Bellamac turns towards you as he picks up the scattered offerings and cradles them in his frail arms. Ariadne had the biggest heart of all. She truly loved and cared for everyone, her people, her father, her siblings, the Minotaur's victims, even the Minotaur itself, and Theseus! His eyes turn misty as if the morning fog had settled in them. He would have saved her, you know. He was desperate to take her far away from all this madness. She wouldn't leave her people, so he stayed for her. The sadness in his voice leaves you speechless. That's a nice story, priest, says the ringleader, but there are statues to be destroyed. He kicks a wine amphora and it spills onto the ground like blood from a wound. We can choose. You know there are better ways to move on than destroying the past. Torn down symbols have a way of resurfacing, while people without hope turn to the maze. It's better to change a symbol's meaning. You help Balamek and chase away the adolescents. Gain plus one, diplomacy, and Minoan. Okay. Um... I feel like our chick would like that. Right? Or, the Minotaur is a symbol of Minos' tyranny, plain and simple. There may be a time for subtler action, but today Crete needs a clearer message. You let the Hornsworn destroy the statues, which we gain plus one on Hornsworn. I'm, I'm kind of moved by the, the priest a little okay, bit. It's like, all right. Fucking like, rock and roll. So we want to do the first one? Sure. All right. Plus one Minoan. Yay! C0015. You sigh and cross your arms. Just leave him alone. He isn't doing anyone any harm. Bellamic smiles at you gracefully, but the adolescents are not convinced. Where are the horn sworn? The ringleader says, anger in his eyes. The traces of childhood are still etched on his features. He turns away from you and kicks the rest of the offerings down, stomping on the honey and cakes. 
His comrades cheer him on and start throwing rocks at the large statue, chanting Theseus' name. They radiate the pure and raw energy of youth. What you see is a group of young people who believe they belong to something worth causing trouble for, despite their idol being long dead. If anything, Theseus' absence might actually uh, have fueled their boldness. So choose. Um, you imagine this is how every tyrant starts, using force to get what they want. They need to be taught a lesson before they turn into bullies or the cycle will repeat themselves. You use force to make them leave, but don't kill them. Minus one, diplomacy on Horn Swarm. Mm, very nice. Two, if you make them feel powerless, they may turn to darker things. You need to change their minds. You reinterpret the meaning of the statues. Labyrinthians plus one. So beat his ass, and, but not kill him. Be like, hey, we're just going to show that being that, that having having purpose uh, means nothing. Or actually try and go with the dip diplomatic route. I mean... We're not murderers. Let's no. go diplomatic. Okay. So Labyrinthians plus one goes to eleven. Maybe the young Hornsworn will listen if you find the right words to convince them. Maybe the old priest will listen too. So the leader tests wisdom. Each Argonaut may gain plus one danger to add one. For each faction, denounced or worse, subtract one. We are not denounced on anyone. So we've never we haven't pissed off anyone enough. <laughs> um Dean. So if we're doing wisdom, Heraclides has two wisdom. Okay, go for it. All right. So we all take danger to boost you. To add one. Five. Middle of the road. Seven. We need ten. So three people would have to take danger. Gross. I mean, I'd rather pass them. So yeah, each. I can take one. He's already at three. Okay, then then all. So we got ten. There's our ten. You remind them of the love between Ariadne and Theseus, and of how brave and kind their hero was. You point out that the bull statues can honor them both, and that there is no use in lashing out at some inanimate object. After a while, they leave, somewhat at peace. The priest, too, is quiet, but he shows you the way to a cave where a feral titan lives. Believe it or not, he helped me move some of the statues. Oh. Treat him gently. <laughs> Um, gain plus one titan, right? Uh, gain plus one titan. It's feral. No, he helped him move. Rawr. So we're up to eight. Okay. Good. One Argonaut can remove the maze touched affliction. Oh, fucking yes. And then we get, we have the... the uh, to remove it. Okay, Cersei. And then we get B7 as our choice matrix. Do you have any? Are either of yours mace touched? Nope. Oh, dabble in that were. shit, you freak. Both of mine were. No, we got him in that fucking. When that. The final boss showed up for the second time. <laughs> ah, ah! Alright. Touched me. <laughs> um. Yeah, regardless of the result, go to 014. When you return to the Argo and give the old priest a handy <laughs> an account of the events, he says, Youth and old age, angst and devoutness, and urge to move, <laughs> and an urge to remain motionless. We are all cursed and or blessed to walk this path. Ooh, that was a massive load! <laughs> or, 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 <laughs> oh my god, that was a healthy load! Healthy load. <laughs> you must have been saving that up for two weeks. We gain plus one doom and plus one progress. Can we fake that one? We maybe? can. We can try. So that puts us at five Argo fate. Yeah, I'm but there. it's a roll of minus uh, minus one or minus four. Minus four? Yeah, because it's minus for the however many doom we have. So we have to get. You need a five. Five. Oh, okay. That's easy. It's easy. You can spend a fate to re-roll that. Oh my god. Jesus tits. There we go. Alright, so we don't gain that doom. Who? The least likely Argonaut gains a familiar curse, Nemo's card. Which she's the least likely because she doesn't have one. A <laughs> curse of the gods with a familiar curse. <laughs> she's double cursed. <laughs> There you go. 
Yeah, was this Jujutsu Kaisen with all this cursed <laughs> energy? Uh, no, this is actually good writing. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Meow, 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 singer! Let's see here. Turn the primordial in your direction. Um. So, uh, well, what's the what's the art look like on the other oh. on the other side? Forget about those. Familiar curse. A lonesome in a boat. Ooh, what's it say? Restless days and sweat and shade. Sleepless nights under dim stars. Nice. Okay, so that was the expedition. No encounter. Uh, advancement. We do get a combat. A combat tech. So. We don't have faint. So if we want Hecaton Autopsy, that's how we get our Earthshaker Titan. Oh, baby. That Dreamwalker Titan and a Hecaton Core. Okay. We need Fate Sync, though. So Fate Sync um, and Specialized Trireme Weapons, which we do have that. So we need to get Fate Sync right now. Okay, let's do it. By exerting force on the Triskelion Junction, we are able to ever so slightly alter the course of fate itself. Um, so, technology, uh, projects, fate sync. So, for lives, uh, whose lives have we irrevocably changed? So choose a Titan, that Titan loses minus one fate. So this is a Argo ability that we can put in. Oh, we only get our three, right? We have three as a max. Gotcha. So, minus yeah. one fate. Our fate does kind of... It allows us to be a little bit more liquid with our movement. But rage and danger are both amazing. Yeah. And the, just the more accuracy in the arrow barrage. Yeah. I'm good with what we got. Yeah, me too. Um... But, as we see, a lot of things are increasing our fate lately, so mm -hmm. it's like, ooh. But again, we can always see Just like, yeah, fate. using any of our tools, it costs fate. Pretty much. Uh, so that was advancement. Nothing we can create right now, so then the only thing we can do right now is our five. Um, uh, just draw a card and get rid of it. Well, cool. So if you're told to discard this card by a story, discard another card from the temple deck, then return this card to the deck. All right, so a pristine Minotaur statue. We know where that's at. So we have a one in three chance to find a actually a two two out of three chance to draw coordinates. Okay. Okay. So that was the story step. No doom, which we've been going that. I mean, I think we just have to kind of eat the doom now. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, I think we can go one more day. Yeah, because the next one we'll have a combat encounter. I'm liking that. Whoops. So now let's move. So you're saying you use the engine nymph? You're thinking it's up? It has to be. I got, it has to be. I'm assuming that's like the fucking barrier line. And if we go yeah. straight down, we'll find the edge of another island. So I'm assuming this is already it. Yeah, I'm assuming that that this is the tip of that island yeah, down like, here. You've seen like the corner. So of it would have been up. Yeah. So we just got. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> we're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's like someone overhears that you like throw him off the edge. <laughs> yeah, so use the engine nymph because our hole is three or less. Yeah. So, where are these summons? God forms and summons. Summons! So, engine nymph. Boom. All right, so we will go one, two, sixty-five. If it's not up there, I'm taking this back. Okay, that is the right way. Okay, just not quite there. Just yet. not quite there. It gotcha. has to be there. Okay. <laughs> so sixty-five. Good Titan. That is a Titan. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Okay, so I already moved the timeline. Um, yeah, we haven't found the top of the map yet. No, but I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
and we're one away from having the three. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. All right. Theban trading, you may exchange up to five times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, what do we got for our cargo? Basically, we can trade four trireme for an armament. Let's do that a couple times. So, five, six, seven, eight. Get two armaments. Um, three trireme for a monument. So, that was twice. Muscle cluster or infused mechanism for two raw ambrosia. Four raw ambrosia for a muscle cluster or an infused mechanism. We can do, do you want to do that? Do a couple of those, so eight. Nice. Yeah. For one of each, I guess. Sure. Infused mechanism or, actually, I'm gonna do two more to get a infused mechanism and a fleshy mantle. All right. <clears throat> ah. Cool. All I right. feel good about that. Yeah. Um, but we gotta keep keep drawing, baby. Ooh, Untamed Titan. Okay, well. We're up on Titans now. Sweet. We have 10. And four Trireme resources. Nice. Two, three, four, so that's the end of that one. Another Titan. Oh, damn. <laughs> what do you call a group of Titans? A Rage of Titans? A Rage of Titans? A rage that's, of titans. A good one. that's a good one. Um, three armaments. Damn it, there it is. Okay. <laughs> a shawl of titans. A mischief of titans. <laughs> what else? A murder of titans. A bully. A, a bully. bully. Bully of titans. <laughs> I'm having a bully day. Are you bully. a bully day? Bully! Bully! Okay. <laughs> Whoo! Well, that was... That was... That... So I think I already did the timeline movement. Uh, yes, I did. So we're moving. Uh, well, we already moved. Okay. Uh, for this, so then, yeah, that was I did the expedition. No advancement. Uh, no story. No nothing. So is it fight time? Uh, it will be. So we'll do the same thing we did last time. So we will move. So it'll be sixty. Right. It is sixty. Yes, sir. There it is. Fucking god damn it. <laughs> With a little bull and a circular symbol, um, and an adventure hub. So, been running this fucking coast. So, okay, and a fucking map. progress. Oh, that's a good one. So, that is. So we moved timeline. Um, yeah, got to do another expedition. So. Four trireme, just all these, all these sexy resources. One, two, three, four, and two more trireme. So no one, he's not moving. So we've kept our distance pretty, pretty well okay. against him. Then we have another adventure hub. Well, actually, we gain our progress. So I'm good with putting it on the inward odyssey. If you are. Uh, and we want to see so expedition step so another story right or another yeah another adventure hub okay. roll that d10 baby one hidden in plain sight I think that's our last one. Oh shit huh, it's funny it that is. I rolled the ones a most number of times this is Theseus's shadow okay <laughs> Voyage oh, ten. is on both of mine. Voyage. Oh, voyage. 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 Voyer. Curse of the gods. Oh, I hit my node. Oh, you did? Yep. It leveled up. Nice. There's that. And Minoan. Nice. Okay. 
So that will be read in the story section, which will be after the fight. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, I forgot to fill this in. Are you ready for what's to come? You ready? The Argo lies. You said it was Voyage, correct? Yeah. Is that on all of ours? Yes, I think we all got to know that one. Nice. Okay. The Argo lies at anchor some distance from the coast, waiting for the resupply Hemiolas to come back. In the evening, a battered trireme approaches from the sea. You've had many dealings with local pirates before, and they have rarely been worth your time. The trireme stops within shouting distance, and something is brought on board from the cargo hold. It gleams in the day's dying sun like a polished armor. Then it starts to move around its own axis, gears turning and wheels spinning, and you recognize one of Daedalus' inventions. Mm. The captain of the trireme turns the machina off, then demands an audience with the Argonauts. His manners are off-putting, but Daedalus' machinas are the very reason you've gotten yourself involved in Crete's affairs. You can at least hear the man out. When the pirate's representatives come on board, you realize these are the Hornsworn, and none other than Pirithus is leading is and none other than Pirithus is leading them. Long time no see, says the man dryly. F1 is marked on our choice matrix, so 005. This should be good because we helped him. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I don't remember specifically what, but I remember we chose to help him. Okay, so Pir that, that was an earlier of no. this yes. table. Yes. Okay. Pirithus smiles. The fates have brought us together again. I would not reach out to you if it wasn't important. Crete faces a threat bigger than the Minoan dynasty. You must have seen it firsthand. The ranks of the Labyrinthians swell like an infected wound. These empty, hopeless eyes invite doom upon us all. They need to be stopped. A group of them have taken over one of Theseus's hideouts, high in the coastal cliffs. It's a well-fortified position we cannot hope to reach. But there is a different way, older. He pauses. A passage of the giants, barred by many stone gates. You'd have to be Heracles to lift them. Or a titan. We've brought gifts. Walk the passage of giants, open the way, and you can have that machina and more. Uh, those mechanical contraptions are rarer than gold, and you need the parts to fix the Argo. The Labyrinthians may hold some valuable information, so the matter is settled. If the Minoan guide is with you, she is. She exposes herself. Um, uh, Pirithus was Theseus' right-hand man, reveals the princess after the Hornsworn has left. He saw him last. Mm, I wonder. Subtract one Argo fate. Okay. And we return to zero zero five. So he asks. So okay. Choose a party leader. He's asking us to help um, uh, go after a Theseus temple that the Hornsworn have, or the Labyrinthians have. So choose a party leader. Ask for the spinning machina as a gesture of good faith. Your engineers will take it apart and breathe new life into the Argo. Um, if our hull was two or less, we would have gained a hull. Otherwise, we gain three armament resources. Um, or agree to help unconditionally. You'll get your machina soon enough. And we just gain a Hornsworn diplomacy. Sure. That sounds like a better bet. Yeah. This is like armament resources. This is our bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's oh, up? Oh, this guy. Yeah. Like, you know, we kind of don't really care about the, the Theseus guys, but you're all right. <laughs> so, plus one horn sword. So, right now, we are sitting at one Minoan, three Labyrinthians. Jeez. For some reason, somehow. <laughs> the we, cult likes yeah, us. The cult really likes us, and horn sword is that negative. Because we're opening people's minds to other avenues of thought. <laughs> Uh, okay, so regardless of our choice, go to 015. You follow Prithius or Pirithus' instructions and arrive at your destination in the early hours of the morning. The Argo stays off the coast, hidden by a thick fog. It's a bit unsettling, something so enormous can be so completely concealed. While well, you take a small launch and sail towards the island. Choose an Argonaut other than the party leader who will junction with the Titan and pull the launch. Select a weapon. All other Argonauts go on foot. Note your choice and continue. Uh, who's junctioning? <clears throat> Whatever his name is. Herodotus? Yeah. Or, no, or Telebacchus. Telebacchus. He's got three fate and three danger. So. Mm. Mm. 
God, why? <laughs> because he rolled. Sh- well, he actually rolled good on the face worse, fake worse. Oh, than death that's table. right. That's right. Um, because what we can do. I mean, she's got the spark dreamwalker, but I don't know. This will probably just cost us fate and danger, I assume. Uh, it might. Yeah. You were also wondering. I forgot to tell you how the trireme breastplate. Um, yeah. Six grotesque beaks and three powdered matter, uh, which we definitely do not have. Uh, so we get those from the fucking pursuer. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Turn the ship around. Let's fight him. <laughs> we need gear. So, um, I mean, we can have we can have Heraclides do it. Go I just, for it. All right. And yeah, I mean, the whaleboat Biden is our MVP weapon right now. Zero zero five, right? I know, 015. Okay. As you emerge from the fog, you are greeted by sheer, towering cliffs. Below the sea is calm, but you notice several shark fins break the surface. (laughs) Up high, you see several small clefts and a large ledge. An unaware observer might take them for natural formations, shallow gaps created by the unaccountable years of tides and winds smashing into the impassive rock. But according to Pirithus, that is the entrance to Theseus' hideout. The cliffs look unscalable, but when you get closer, you notice a wooden platform suspended from hemp ropes directly below the ledge. This is the contraption Pirithus wants you to lower. This is not the way you'll be getting in, though. Instead, you sail past the hideout and around the cliffs to a narrow crack in the stone formation where a hidden cove lies. And beyond that, the Passage of Giants. Sure enough, once your eyes adjust to the dimness, you notice a rocky beach and an opening blocked by a smooth stone slab. You leave the launch and walk up to the opening. It's large, not made for mortals. Up close, you can make out grooves in the slab, worn by time and elements, yet unmistakably intentionally carved. The Titan finds grip points at the base of the slab, more grips than they have hands, and tries to lift it. At first, the stone seems unmovable, but then you hear a click, as if something fell into place, and the slab yields to the giant's strength. Click! It does not fall back into the opening, nor can the Titan pick it up and remove it. Instead, with a grinding sound, it slides into a hollow space in the roof of the cave. <laughs> like a... Like a <laughs> garage? Yeah. <laughs> um... Where was that? The tunnel beyond is large enough for the Titan to move unhindered. You break out the torches and go inside. As soon as the Titan re- releases the slab, it falls to the ground with a loud thud. Now wanting to waste time and knowing Pyrrhus' ships, uh, though slower than the Argo and not far behind, you set a brisk pace. Soon you reach a fork in the tunnel. Pyrrhus didn't mention it. It should have. It should have been straight path. Uh, it should have been a straight path to the lower levels of the hideout. The path to the right is wider and it seems like a natural extension of the tunnel you're in, while the path to the left is smaller, human-sized. Okay, if K10 is marked, it is not. So we choose. The tunnel to the left seems recently excavated. You've come here with a goal in mind and you don't need distractions, especially if you'd have to leave your Titan here. You go right. Or the tunnel to the left seems recently excavated. If someone thought digging through all this rock was worth the effort, maybe you should investigate. You go left. Mm. What are you doing, sir? I am the party leader, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Probably, I'd probably say Heraclides is a, a straight to the point kind of man. Pragmatic. So probably, yeah, very pragmatic. Probably we would just go straight right. Okay, go keep for the it. Titan. So twenty three. You disregard the smaller tunnel and continue on your way. The walls here are carved uh, in a smaller manner to the slab door. In places, you can even make out individual markings, which I don't think we know what that says. Nope. Nope. Oh wait. Nice. Huh. So nine. That's interesting. So one of these is saying some that is seven? I thought we already have a seven. Hmm. Damn. Well, one of these is incorrect. No. So, 
Because that's saying that that is seven. Gotcha. Hmm. Eventually, you reach another slab door. Your titan clutches the grips and raises the stone block. The walkway beyond is as wide and tall as the one you're leaving. You feel a draft. Wow, we just straight up gained plus one inward odyssey. Nice! Um... Where is our inward odyssey? Um, that would be... I mean, sure. Just do that and then add one. So that will be nine, which we'll read in the story section. Then we see 40. Okay. This walkway looks inhabited. Huge jars line the far wall. Here and there you find pallets of dried grass, space torches, Spaced torch sconces light the corridor. You decide to follow the draft. As you move through the hideout, you pass several slab doors, most of them smashed with hammers, just enough to make a human-sized passage. You realize Theseus and his followers didn't build this place. They only took it over and adapted it to their needs. You notice maze-like graffiti on the walls. Now the labyrinthians have taken it from them. The draft is getting stronger, and you start to squint as the walkway around you is flooded with dawn's first light. You look through one of the clefts and see the outline of the Argo slowly emerge from the dissipating fog. Ahead of the mighty ship, a fleet of three horn-sworn triremes close on the cliff. It won't be long before someone knows you're here. You find the mechanism used to lower the platform. Eight people are needed to operate the weights and pulleys. Eight people, or one titan, that is. As you're about to lower the platform, you hear a faint elderly voice. Have you come to kill us all? You pause. You hadn't noticed- Who's there? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you then notice the wizened woman sitting with her back to the wall in one of the clefts. Her body is covered in maze tattoos. She does not pose a threat, and any one of your companions could silence her before she called for help. Why do you say that? You ask. Why else would you have come? She says weakly. Have we not suffered enough? Must you hound us even when we crawl deep into the earth, the worms that we are? You have no answer to that, but you have a decision to make. Choose, follow the plan. Labyrinthians can't be trusted and their words can worm their way into the stoutest of souls. You lower the platform and let Prithius' men in. Or the story of Creed has more twists and turns than you'd like to admit. You need to see before you act. You can always lower the platform later. You've got a Titan. They won't be able to stop you. You decide to investigate. What do you think, buddy? Oh, it's just going to be, oh, you know, life is a fucking big pile of dick shit. <laughs> and that's why we went Labyrinth, because it's better than a dictator, and it's better than a bunch of hopeful idealists. I know, and who wants to listen to all that? And who wants to listen to all that shit? It's just better to embrace the Labyrinth, I don't know. Um, and they're, they're just gonna they're just gonna sob story you to that's, death. Just trauma. To make you feel bad. Yeah, that's true. That, that they've true. joined the cult. So yes. I say kill them all. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm anti people. We have our own shit going on. We're we're not emotionally ready to be trauma dumped on. Like just just I don't even want to hear it anymore. Like, I'm I'm fatigued. Yeah. Like we're just ready to get out of Crete. All right. <laughs> right. Okay. So we lower. So we're doing number one. The triremes drop anchor at the foot of the cliff. You disregard the woman and signal the titan to lower the platform. Soon, a group of horn sworn, twenty men strong, arrive at the cliffs. Crete thanks you, says Pirithus dryly, ordering his warriors to fan out and retake the hideout. Secure the armory. Armory? The warriors disappear into the passages in groups of three and four. One of the horn sword notices the Labyrinthian woman tugging weakly at his skirt. Before you can react, the woman, the man grabs her, all skin and bones, and throws her off the cliff. Jesus! <laughs> One of your own crew members jumps up to the horn sword. Why the hell did you do that? The atmosphere suddenly gets tense and everyone reaches for their weapons. They are the enemy says Pirithus though, through his teeth, though he looks more conflicted than his words betray. Young or old, strong or frail, they, cho they choose the path of oblivion and want the world to follow. Should we waste our food on prisoners who do not value life and will poison the minds of every who would listen? This place needs to be cleansed. Jesus. This is not how you imagine things would go. Uh, one, though you may not agree with his methods, you know the labyrinthian cult of nothingness is the biggest threat. These people may not be violent, but they, legitimi le but they legitimize others who are. You let the Hornsworn do what they came here for. Or two, you will not stand for violence against the helpless. You try to convince Pirithus to spare them. 
Well, based on what you just said, kill them all. Kill them all. So we're going kill them all. Uh, no, yeah. that's what you said. I. Uh, I mean, if there's a way around it. <laughs> no. You're like, they're going to give us some sub story. So uh, they're just going to give us some kill. more What, sense. there's children here? Kill them kill first. Them. I, yeah, we've kind of done a 180, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Pyrrhus is our boy. Pyrrhus our boy. <laughs> all right, kill them all. All right, Labyrinthians is uh, down by two. Jesus Christ. So we're at one Minoans, one Labyrinthians, and minus one Hornswarm. No one knows how to take us. We're wild cards. <laughs> you allow the events to unfold without intervening. Pyrrhus's wars make short work of the Labyrinthians, though a battle it is not. The word massacre rattles in your minds. As you wander the giant walkways marked with blood and violence, you question if it was necessary. You walk past rooms full of old weapons and realize the true reason the Hornsword wanted to retake their hideout. Their hatred of the Minoan dynasty runs deep. You arrive at a large hall where the Labyrinthians, by the looks of it, made destitute, uh, by the looks of it, the most destitute, old, and invalid, made their last pitiful stand. Unarmed and untrained, their end was mercifully quick. In a sudden moment of realization, you understood why the people of Crete flocked to the truth of the Labyrinth. Someone needs to do something. Pyrrhus notices your troubled faces. I will join Tantalus and Tartarus soon enough, he offers grimly, but not before justice is served and my homeland saved. He motions to an unlit alcove at the back of the hall. There, a marble statue of a woman of unparalleled beauty stands in the shadow, goat-seeing. Her <laughs> slender frame and regal features betray her noble birth. <laughs> the fact that she's goat-seeing. <laughs> the stone is now covered in maze markings. This place was special to Theseus. He erected that shrine as a monument to his undying love for Ariadne. He sighs in self flagellation yeah, He would have never allowed for what we did here. Creed is lost without his dignified nobility. It's like, then why'd you do it, man? If you're like, he would never have let us kill all these people. I'm kind of glad he's gone. As you come closer to marvel at the princess of Crete, you notice a labyrinth outcrop has damaged the shrine and uncovered a secret chamber below, where a large bull-like helm, far too large for a mortal, rests in dust and debris. I wondered where he hid it, muses Pyrrhus. Theseus has used it to distract the Minotaur. It's yours if you want it. Gain plus one? Uh, what is that? Progress. Yep. Plus one progress. Okay. Which would get us to a second Inward Odyssey. Sure. That would get us all the way to ten. Okay. So we have nine and ten to read after the fight. All right. Plus one Argo Fate. And plus one Stranger. Hmm. Gain the Mino Head card, Secret Deck 2, card 15. Hmm. Please, Legendary Gear. Got a 10, baby. I'm banging that 10. Next roll. God, that's badass. Oh, cool. There we go. There we are. It is a, uh, uh, whatever, support. Unique, for two fate, you can provoke. When you use provoke on this card, place a divergent token in the Kratos pool. I'm assuming provoke lets you become the target. Mm. Um, and if your danger is at six or higher, you may use provoke on this card as an interrupt. So, that's that. Oh, and it gives you a reroll <clears throat> on one of your defense dice? Uh, let me see. That symbol? Yes. So it gives you a defensive reroll and an additional armor die. Yeah. That's pretty and cool. And it lets you, when you use Provoke, Which so is, combine it with a Trireme Breastplate, you got three fucking armor die. That's pretty hot. And a reroll uh, for a dodge. Yeah. Pretty sexy. The party leader gains one despair token. Blah. Which was Heraclides. <laughs> Maybe all that murder wasn't necessary. <laughs> Okay. Party leader gains one despair token. Add the vicious trait to the next battle. Uh, I don't know what that is. Vicious trait. Um. Hold on, let me look up. Traits. Traits. T R. Traits. Um. 
think it's a primordial trait. 36. Um, traits. Damn it. No, I can't find it. See also other gear sets and qualities. 46 Nemo cards, 26 gear traits. Categories. That's cycle two storybook though. Um, I get, I don't know. I don't know what vicious is. It's Cause traits, I think that goes on the next fight. Hmm. But I don't know what vicious is. I have to look through all these millions of papers I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, wait. Um. Yeah, terrain. Oh, that's terrain trait. Defensive primordial traits. Um. It's not on here. Add the vicious trait to the next battle. Mark I one. If uh, Argo Fate is five or less, uh, which it is, we gain a hull. Okay. As Perithius hands over the other Daedalus devices. Nice. Um. And we return to the voyage phase. Okay. That was a long one. Yeah, it was. Um, <clears throat> I don't feel great about our <laughs> our decisions. I probably would not have, but but you were adamant about hey, <laughs> kill the cult, kill the cult. Um, I don't think it was in the right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is fair. That is kind of the. I guess that's good writing, because um, that was the expedition step. Then we have our encounter step, which is what's next. So, just as a reminder for the next thing, the next uh, episode, we have two inward odysseys to read, and we have a draw from the the clue deck. Okay. Because we're, we finally got to yes. one of the things. Uh, first we fight. Yes, but first we fight, so that's the end. Uh, that's the it. That's the that's it for this uh, episode, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Stick around for the uh, rest of the series. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey, everyone! Thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.